Hey guys, Prince Medic is here. In this video, we'll be discussing the 10 biology topics that are most repeated in jump biology. This will help you do well in your jump biology. Let's delve into the video proper. The first is living organisms. Under this topic, you should know the characteristics of living organisms. Know the difference between living and non-living organisms. And very, very importantly, know the levels of organization of life. The organelles, the cells, the tissues, the organs, and the systems. In addition, you should know the definition of a cell. Get yourself acquainted with that diagram of a cell and the organelles within it and the functions. For example, John might ask you a question like this. You might walk into your exam hall that very day and see a diagram of a cell with several organelles within it and they are labeled one, two, three, and you're asked, identify these organelles, or what are the functions of these organelles? Please pay attention to this. Also attempt this question you're seeing on your screen. The second is classification of living organisms. You should get yourself acquainted with the concept of taxonomy. You should know the five kingdoms, the seven taxonomic ranks, the kingdom, the phylum or division, the class, the order, the family, the genus, and the species. In each of the phylums, you should know the general characteristics and the examples. For example, phylum cholenterata, otherwise known as phylum nideria, usually possess what we call nematocytes, otherwise called stinging cells. You should also know examples within this. It will go a long way to help you. Attempt the question you are seeing on your screen. The next is transport systems. Here you should know the open and closed circulatory system. Know the difference between the systemic and the pulmonary circulation. Know the gradation of hearts in fishes, in amphibians, in humans. Also know the components of this circulatory system. For example, that might ask you, the tricuspid valve is found in which side of the heart? Do you know the answer to this question? If you do, leave your answer in the comment section below. In addition, attempt the question you are seeing on your screen and leave your answer in the comment section also. The next is respiratory system. You should know by now that most unicellular and lower organisms respire via diffusion. But as we go up from unicellular to multicellular, they start developing respiratory organelles. They start developing respiratory structures like human beings. Human beings already have a developed respiratory structure, otherwise systems. In your textbook, there's an experiment that is explaining how the lungs respond when you respire and inspire. They use the balloon to perform that experiment. Please pay close attention while reading that particular table or experiment. Damn like certain question from that diagram alone. So please pay attention. Attempt the question you're seeing on your screen and leave the answer in the comment section. The next is supporting systems. Here you should know the types of cartilages and how cartilages ossify, that is calcifies from cartilages to bones. You should know the types of skeletal systems we have and the organisms that have them. Please pay attention to this. You might be asked a question about an incense. Which kind of skeleton does an incense have? Please attempt the question on your screen and leave the answers well in the comment section. The next is digestive system and excretory system. These are two topics in one. You should know the types of feeders we have. The filter feeders, the fluid feeders, etc. Know the structures of the digestive system and know the enzymes that play important roles in the digestive system and the parts of the body that play important roles. Also know the structures of the excretory system. What are the excretory structures of organisms? Please pay close attention to this. Lots of questions come out from here. Do you think you know some of the things I mentioned? Attempt the question on your screen and leave the answer in the comment section below.
Number seven is a reproductive system. You should know the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction. Know the types of asexual reproductions we have. Know the reproduction in man and the reproductive structures in man. Know reproduction in plants. Know the difference between mitosis and meiosis. Pay close attention to reproduction in animals and living organisms in general. Know the life cycles of insects and organisms. Very, very important. Most importantly, know that of the bee, the queen bee and the rest of them. Jump, I don't know. They usually like certain questions from bees. Please pay attention to this. If you think you're acquainted with the subtopics under reproduction, all the things I've listed so far, attempt the question and see whether you can get it. Leave your answer in the comment section below. The next is ecology, containing a subtopic adaptation. You should know about the ecosystem. You should know the biological relationship between organisms, symbiosis, commensalism, and the rest of them. Please pay close attention. I can remember seeing a damn question which was asking about lichen. Lichen is an association between what and what. If you think you know the answer right now without consulting your textbook, leave the answer in the comment section below. We'll move over to adaptation. You should know how living organisms adapt to the environment. The merophyte, the xerophyte, the hydrophytes. Know how organisms adapt to the environment. For birds, how they modify their characteristics to fit into the environment. Some of them will develop long beaks clawed fingers just to fit into the environment so please pay close attention to this in addition to all i've said attempt the question on your screen leave the answer as well in the comment section below the next is genetics this is a very very important topic here you should know the first and second Mendelian laws. You should get yourself acquainted with the terminologies relating to genetics, such as chromosomes, genes, DNA, definition of recessive and dominant genes. Please pay attention to this. Very importantly, learn cross-matching. For example, let me ask you this question. Pay close attention and know whether you can answer. If you're asked in your exam day, a man with blood group A marries a woman with blood group B and they give birth to a child, what is the probability that that child has a blood group of O? If you know the answer, drop it in the comment section. Let's know the first person who will get it right. The last is variation and the theory of evolution. Two interesting topics combined together. Under variation, you should know the types of variation. Very, very important. You should know the concept of evolution. Know the Darwin's and Lamarck's theory. Know the evidences that back up the theory of evolution. Please pay important attention to this. If you have more time, please look into nervous system and sense organs. It's a bonus point for you. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I believe it was of benefit to you. And if it was, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.